I've been very lucky to be invited out by Benito Group and Volvo Penta to test the new hybrid system that they are looking to put into production here uh, out in Sweden. Um, let's see how we get on. Can you change the amount of frost you can get? Yeah, you can push time on if you want. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Today this is enough. How easy is that, Rob? It's uh, very, very easy. It's just very odd not having the noise of the the engine clunking in and out because it's so instantaneous. Maybe we can have a look at yeah. Oh, there we go again. So what are you up to, the here? Uh, just frosting out with maximum frost and it's for responsive, quiet. Um, How do you think that compares in noise to a, uh, a twin diesel setup? Well, there's just no noise. It's just like this, just an electric pulse coming from it. It's um, really responsive, really quiet. And actually, you can hear everybody, so you can shout at your crew. It's a lot easier when there's no noise. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's actually one of the, the features that we've discovered. Yeah. Well, it's, 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 it's much easier to communicate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorrel will come in as well. Okay, I'm going to turn around without hitting the dock. Yeah, you can hear all the noise of all the drive kicking in and out. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, high pitch, uh, yeah. steering pumps for the, for the drive. Right, okay. Yeah. So I mean... Straight ahead now. Yeah. We thought we were the actuators on the year. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see now. We're doing six knots. Just yeah. under. You can go uh, after the uh, regular lever now for these ones. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going into normal mode. There's still no engine kicking in, which is... Mode. The, like the power consumption here. Okay. Yeah. And then we can come down because it's been dropped. We're going to see how it affects the power consumption. 32 kilowatts. Yeah. I think we have like a sweet. Okay, so we're using about 25 kilowatt, that kilowatts per hour, is it? Yeah. And we're doing 5.8 knots. There's also a reading that says how, how far it is to empty batteries. Autonomy. On the far right. Uh, okay, 62%. So you've got left and right here. 53%. Battery count, three hours, three hours. Battery empty distance, 15.7. If you increase the uh, speed a little bit, you will see how those figures drop. Yeah. That's a 9.5, I was dropping quick. Okay. Yeah. 6.2. So, yeah, 6 nautical miles left at 8.5 knots. Yeah. And then if we go down again, come back. But of course, you can generate. You can recharge those batteries whilst you're uh, under under power mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or hybrid mode. Yeah, so yeah. electric mode. Is there any power. range that, let's say, you go for two knots? Can they charge as much as you use it? So you actually have unlimited electric? So this boat well, speeds you, you over the ground. Have to have the combustion yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, but uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, but where the knots. combustion's putting in yeah. more than the electric's taking out. Forty. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Four nautical miles. Okay. Well, once we have the combustion and it's running, and we, we travel at steady state speed, so we don't accelerate. Then, uh, the, the but could you use black void? Could you, could you run the... Stay in electric. electric mode again. So we're in hybrid mode now, so if I increase the power, it should kick into the engine. Yeah, if you pass 1500 RPMs, do it there. Uh, I think uh, I will go in, just uh, going because I'm getting okay. quite there. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've been left in control. So if we go up to more than 15 RPMs, what are you at now? Oh, I mean, the engine's just kicking now. Oh, yeah. So that must be just under 15 RPM. Yeah, I'm 15, 15 yeah. point three. So we can go up to 25 just to... 
So that's that's the electrics giving the diesels a boost there now because we're accelerating. Yeah, now they're working together. They're working together, yeah. So that's going to increase the. This is quicker acceleration than you'd normally have. Yeah. Yeah, and in particular, um, uh, later on we'll try the power. Yeah, we can do another acceleration again. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, well, 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 exactly. So we're down to 1500 RPM. Not it's 1200, 1200 on the way down. So if, if we would have uh, 1500 volts on the way up, on the way so down. So not, not, not yet. On we give them 10 seconds just for the uh, extra oh, cooling. So we're back in the so now we're back in on electric. It's electric boats. Yeah. Okay. This is the driving around town. Mode. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It didn't notice so much when the engines kicked in, but when the engines stop, then you really notice how much noise you've, you've lost. Not, it's not so much how much noise you gain when they kick in, it's really about how quiet they are now. You would have thought that I turned the engines off. But we are an electric drive boat now, and you can hear me talking over the engines. We're doing probably about five and a half knots. Probably see better if I show you the wake. into generate mode to generate some power to so charge up the batteries so in um, charge mode it takes about an hour to charge all the batteries up uh, to full power I guess that's because all the everything's out there. There's no engines under here. It's yeah. all it's yeah. all down that end, yeah. which is why the noise is out there. Yeah, it's super quiet, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't want this on a shaft base. This is in full electric mode now. And any noise you can hear is the water and the drives, which obviously mechanical down beneath my feet here. But as you can tell from inside, it's very, very quiet, which is the upside of electric. So we're about to do an acceleration yeah, test. Um, first of all, we're going to do it under power. Hybrid. Under hybrid. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll do it under power to see the difference in the acceleration. It's C37 anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's about 33 knots is not bad. also running air conditioning so there's about a ton worth of extra weight on this boat um, with the batteries and what was there seven eight of us on board 
Um, but what's interesting is acceleration when you're in power mode, which is the engine and the battery at the same time, is exceptionally quick. I mean, it got onto the plane within seven to eight seconds uh, up to 30 knots. So if you go in that mode, then you've got the same performance as you would do um, a normal NC37 fat, better performance really from an acceleration point of view. Um, if you just go into the normal hybrid mode, then the engine doesn't kick until later. So acceleration is slower and obviously uses less power from the, uh, the battery, so more economical. Um, but uh, quite an exciting uh, step uh, in evolution of hybrid power, basically. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing what Volvo come up with next. So on reflection, looking at uh, what Volvo have done here, they provided quiet drive, so very nice when you're coming into port. You don't want to upset your neighbours. Um, you want to be able to hear the environment, the natural world around you and this electric drive really enables that to happen also it adds an extra benefit of being better for the environment it is cheaper to run um, so all the upsides of a hybrid that you get in the car um, you don't get any battery anxiety you get uh, the plus side of a battery pack that can run all your entertainment system or your systems on board for a longer period of time than would normally be the case on a um, combustion engine boat um, so lots of upside to it. Um, the joystick docking is even better now and the thrust you get from the power thruster and the, uh, the engines in the electric mode is exceptionally good and easy to use because it's intuitive. You can hear that everything around you. You haven't got the noise of the engines clunking in and out um, and there's no exhaust coming out uh, which creates a lot of noise as well. So this really looks like the future for uh, hybrid uh, electric boating. So finally, thank you to Benetta Group and to Volvo Penta for hosting such a beautiful event in such an incredible place and for allowing me to test this brand new kit.